David John Eicher born August 7, 1961, is an American editor, writer, and popularizer of astronomy and space. He has been editor-in-chief of Astronomy Magazine since 2002. He is author, co-author, or editor of 23 books on science and American history and is known for having founded a magazine on astronomical observing, Deep Sky Monthly. When he was a 15-year-old high school student, Iker is also a historian, having researched and written extensively about the American Civil War. <laughs> Early life Iker was born in Oxford, Ohio on August 7, 1961. He was born into a scientific family, the son of John H. Iker (1921–2016), a professor of organic chemistry at Miami University in Oxford, Ohio, who as a young man was a Manhattan Project scientist, and housewife Susan Ann Iker (1923 (1923–1983). His sister Nancy Iker (born 1959) is a journalist and editor. His great uncle was Ethan Nathan Allen, 1904 to 1993, a professional baseball player and baseball coach at Yale University, whose players included George H. W. Bush. His great great grandfather Darius Wetzel, 1839 to 1903, fought with the 74th Ohio Infantry in the Civil War, which influenced Iker more than a century later. He is of predominantly German, Swiss, and English ancestry, along with a small percentage of Delaware Native American. Iker grew up in a suburb of the small town of Oxford, with relatively dark skies overhead. He attended Hannah House Nursery School 1966, William Holmes McGuffey Laboratory School 1967-1975, a school for offspring of Miami University employees and Talawanda High School 1976-1979, where he was involved in band activities. He was also actively interested in American history and in science, leaning toward a career as a doctor. This changed in early 1976 when he attended a star party in Oxford and Iker looked at Saturn through a telescope. He was immediately attracted to astronomy and set off exploring the sky with binoculars, joining the local astronomy club, and beginning to write for their publication when another contributor quit. Iker had significant enthusiasm for writing about star clusters, nebulae, and galaxies objects in deep space beyond the solar system, and by June 1977 commenced publishing Deep Sky Monthly. By the time Iker started attending Miami University in Oxford, it had a circulation of 1,000. Among the astronomers Iker started a correspondence with, met and befriended, and who he has cited as early influences on his career, were Carl Sagan, Clyde Tombaugh, Jean and Carolyn Shoemaker, Bart Bach, Brian Marsden, David Levy, Brian Skiff, and Gerard de Vaucullers. In 1979 Iker began his college studies as a physics major at Miami University. In the fall of 1982 he left after three years of college when Richard Berry, then editor of Astronomy, offered him a position as assistant editor and a continuance of Iker's magazine, now retitled Deep Sky and to be published quarterly. <laughs> Professional career Iker began his career at Astromedia Corp., the magazine's publisher, in September 1982 as assistant editor of Astronomy and editor of Deep Sky. In 1985 Kalmbach Publishing Co., the Milwaukee publisher of Model Railroader, Trains, and other titles, bought Astromedia Corp. Iker's role in the magazine deepened as he worked on many science stories as well as observing pieces and by decade's end, the company moved to Waukesha, Wisconsin, 16 miles west of Milwaukee, and by that time Iker was promoted to associate editor. He also published his first books, The Universe from Your Backyard, a compilation of deep sky observing stories first published in Astronomy, and Deep Sky Observing with Small Telescopes, an anthology about clusters, nebulae, and galaxies. In 1992 the company decided to cease publishing Deep Sky. In 2002 Iker became Astronomy Magazine's sixth editor-in-chief. <laughs> Promotion of astronomy Iker has appeared on CNN, CNN Headline News, Fox News Channel, WGN Radio, National Public Radio, MSNBC, CNBC, and other media outlets to promote the science and hobby of astronomy. 
Iker frequently travels to speak on astronomy or view solar eclipses with tour groups. In 2013 he was invited to speak about great advances in astronomy and on comets at Harvard University, in the Phillips Auditorium of Harvard College Observatory. He was among the 2014 speakers at the Starmus Festival in Tenerife, Canary Islands, and spoke at Harvard again in the spring of 2016, as well as delivering a public talk at Lowell Observatory, Flagstaff, Arizona, in November 2016. In 2017 he spoke at the Science Plus Mathematics Think In at WVIZ PBS Ideastream in Cleveland, Ohio. He also spoke at the America's Darkest Sky Star Party at the Dark Sky New Mexico site near Animas, New Mexico, in April 2017 and October 2017, and in April 2018 delivered the Benson Memorial Lecture in Physics at Miami University in Oxford, Ohio. Iker is active promoting astronomy outreach to a younger generation. From 2011 through 2017, he was president of the Astronomy Foundation originally titled the Astronomy Outreach Foundation, the first ever trade association for the telescope industry. The foundation received 501 C 3 non-profit status in 2014 and included as officers Joseph Lupica, Vic Maris, and Rick Hedrick. Its board consisted of Iker, Lupica, Maris, Hedrick, and others. After serving a six-year term, Iker resigned as president of the foundation in 2017 due to time commitments on other projects. Iker's service to the astronomy world was recognized in 1990 when the International Astronomical Union named Minor Planet 3617 Iker Discovery Designation 1984 LJ in his honor. The asteroid, a main belt object in orbit between Mars and Jupiter, was discovered by astronomer Brian A. Skiff at Lowell Observatory's Anderson Mesa Station in 1984 and the citation was proposed and written by astronomer David H. Levy. Iker's books include Comets. Visitors from Deep Space Cambridge University Press, a book with Brian May, guitarist and singer from the rock group Queen, and astronomer Garrick Israelian, constituting the conference proceedings, lectures, and information from the first Starmus Festival, a science and music event held in 2011 in the Canary Islands, and the New Cosmos, answering astronomy's big questions. Beginning in 2013, he has been a blogger on astronomy and science topics for the Huffington Post. In 2015 he joined the Asteroid Day movement as a 100x signatory and also serves on that project's board as editor-in-chief. In May 2015 Iker was named to the board of directors of the Starmus Festival, joining fellow board members Garrick Israelian, Stephen Hawking, Brian May, Peter Gabriel, Alexei Leonov, Richard Dawkins, Jack Shostak, Jill Tarter, and Robert Williams. In 2015 Iker began producing a video series addressing realities of astronomy and astrophysics. Titled, The Real Reality Show, it appears on YouTube and on astronomy.com. An audio interview series, Superstars of Astronomy, features hour-long podcast talks with prominent astronomers, planetary scientists, and cosmologists, including Jeff Hester, Garrick Israelian, Martin Rees, Seth Shostak, Deborah Fisher, Sarah Seeger, Heidi Hamill, and others. In 2016 Iker edited, along with Garrick Israelian and Brian May, the second book of Starmus Festival Talks, Starmus, Discovering the Universe, which contains talks from the 2014 Starmus Festival, by Stephen Hawking, Alexei Leonov, Brian May, Mark Boslau, Iker, Walt Cunningham, John Mather, John Ellis, and others. In 2017, Iker started a new audio podcast series, Five Questions with David Iker, which is hosted on the Astronomy Magazine website and features interviews about current scientific research with well known astronomers, planetary scientists, and cosmologists. The first to be interviewed was Alex Filipenko of the University of California, Berkeley. Others include Jeff Hester, Phil Play, Carolyn Porco, Mark Boslau, Dan Hooper, Alfred McEwen, Sarah Seeger, Robert Williams, and Jill Tarter. In June 2017, Iker joined the advisory board of Lowell Observatory, in Flagstaff, Arizona, having been asked by Lowell Putnam, Percival Lowell's great-grandnephew, the current observatory trustee. Also in June 2017, Iker attended and was a principal actor at the 4th Starmus Festival, which took place in Trondheim, Norway. Iker served as host on the festival's opening day, delivered two talks about galaxies, served as moderator and host of a panel discussing science education, took part in a Kaspersky Labs panel on the future of Earth, and provided a short film for another Kaspersky Labs project, Sound of Safety. 
In late June 2017, it was announced that his book, Galaxies, was bought at auction by Clarkson Potter Penguin Random House, won by editor Jenny Zellner from agent Laura Biaggi of the Jean V. Nagar Agency, and that the book will be published in the spring of 2020. Publishers Weekly reported the sale in its June 26, 2017 book deals section. Early promotional statements on the book are enthusiastic, with Richard Dawkins writing, The natural history of the galaxies is majestic and deserves its own David Attenborough. In David Iker, it may just have found him, Brian May reacted so, I love this book. It represents a new giant leap in our ability to visualize the universe. Iker's beautiful new presentation shows us for the first time evidence in pictures of an almost unimaginably vast swarm of galaxies along with their immense diversity, stretching into space, to the limits of our possible view. For me, reading Iker's Galaxies was a shocking realization that I must now update my mental picture of the known cosmos. In January 2018, Iker and his associate Michael Bakich, senior editor of Astronomy, produced the first of a series of DVD and streaming video products, Astronomy Backstage Pass, Chicago. In this three-hour film, Iker and Bakich provide a behind-the-scenes visit to four major scientific institutions in the Chicago area. They are Adler Planetarium, the Field Museum, Fermilab, and Yerkes Observatory. In September 2018, Iker and Bakich filmed their second such DVD, aiming at a spring 2019 release, Astronomy Backstage Pass, Northern Arizona, which centered on Flagstaff and included behind-the-scenes, detailed overviews of Lowell Observatory, the U.S. Naval Observatory, the U.S. Geological Survey Astrogeology Science Center, and Meteor Crater. Iker's friend Brian May was along for that excursion, on leave from playing with Queen in Las Vegas, and the group rented a helicopter and filmed Meteor Crater from above. In late 2017 and early 2018 Iker wrote Mission Moon 3D, a book containing stereoscopic views of the Moon and with a text covering the Apollo missions, the space race, and the Soviet space program, in partnership with Brian May and his 3D imaging collaborators. The book has a foreword written by Apollo 16 astronaut Charlie Duke, and an afterword by Apollo 8 and 13 astronaut Jim Lovell. The book was published in October 2018 by the London Stereoscopic Company and MIT Press, and includes Brian May's celebrated Owl Viewer, made for appreciating 3D images. In October, in London, Iker gave a book launch lecture with Brian May at the Science Museum, and the authors were joined via Skype by Duke, who spoke about what it was like to walk on the moon. Iker also was a guest of Mays at the world premiere of the Queen movie Bohemian Rhapsody, and at arena adjacent to Wembley Stadium, the following evening. <inaudible> <inaudible> Civil War history Iker has written eight books on the subject, including Dixie Betrayed, Little, Brown, The Longest Night, Simon and Schuster, Civil War High Commands, Stanford Univ. Press, and the Civil War in Books Univ. of Illinois Press. He has also been active in promoting Civil War remembrance and education and was appointed by Wisconsin Governor James Doyle to serve on the state's Abraham Lincoln Bicentennial Commission in 2009. In 2013 Iker donated his Civil War library of more than 4,000 volumes, collected since 1982, to the Ulysses S. Grant Presidential Library and Ulysses S. Grant Association at Mississippi State University. Personal life Iker lives near Big Bend, Wisconsin, with his wife, Linda Ann Tortomasi Iker born May 25, 1961. His son, Christopher David Iker born December 18, 1992, is a journalist and videographer. Iker has been a drummer since grade school days in Ohio and currently plays with his band, the Astro Blues Band, in Wisconsin, which consists mostly of people who work with Iker on Astronomy Magazine. The current lineup consists of singer Mickey Gebel, singer, harpist Jay Smith, guitarist Keith Bauer, bassist Mike Soliday, and Iker on drums and occasional vocals. As hobbies go, Iker is a mineralogist and mineral collector, and has assembled a collection of more than 1,500 aesthetic specimens, mostly assembled between 2004 and 2018. This interest was inspired by the gift of his father's self-collected ore mineral group, assembled on western trips in the United States between 1926 and 1952. 
He also is an avid book collector and reader of American and ancient history, as well as other scientific subjects such as archaeology, paleontology, and zoology. He is an enthusiastic fan of the Green Bay Packers. Publications Galaxies, Inside the Universe's Star Cities Clarkson Potter Penguin Random House, scheduled for publication in 2019 Mission Moon 3D Brian May, Creative Director, Forward by Charlie Duke, and Afterward by Jim Lovell London Stereoscopic Company and MIT Press, scheduled for publication in October 2018 Astronomy Backstage Pass, Chicago DVD and streaming video product, Kalmbach Publishing Co., 2018 Five Questions with David Eicher Audio Podcast Interview Series, Kalmbach Publishing Co., 2017 Starmus, Discovering the Universe Executive Editor, Canopus Books, 2016 The New Cosmos, Answering Astronomy's Big Questions Cambridge University Press, 2015 Superstars of Astronomy Audio Podcast Interview Series, Kalmbach Publishing Co., 2015-2017 The Real Reality Show Video Series, Kalmbach Publishing Co., 2015 Starmus, 50 Years of Man in Space Executive Editor, Canopus Books, 2014 Comets. Visitors from Deep Space Cambridge University Press, 2013 Astronomy Magazine, The Complete Collection, DVD, including the history of Astronomy Magazine, Kalmbach, 2011. Lincoln the Liberal Strategist, or, A Good Man is Hard to Find, The Lincoln Fellowship of Wisconsin, 2011. A New Birth of Freedom, Abraham Lincoln's Bicentennial, 1809-2009, Abraham Lincoln Bicentennial Commission, 2009. Fifty Greatest Mysteries of the Universe, Kalmbach, 2007. Dixie Betrayed, How the Confederacy Really Lost the Civil War Little Brown, 2006 Beginner's Guide to Astronomy Kalmbach, 2003 Gettysburg Battlefield, The Definitive Photographic History Chronicle Books, 2003 The Longest Night, A Military History of the Civil War Simon & Schuster, 2001 Civil War High Commands Co-author, with John H. Eicher, Stanford University Press, 2001 Mystic Chords of Memory, Civil War Battlefields and Historic Sites Recaptured Louisiana State University Press, 1998 Robert E. Lee, A Life Portrait Taylor, 1997 The Civil War in Books, An Analytical Bibliography University of Illinois Press, 1997 Civil War Battlefields, A Touring Guide Taylor, 1995 Beginner's Guide to Amateur Astronomy Kalmbach, 1993. The New Cosmos, The Astronomy of Our Galaxy and Beyond Editor, Kalmbach, 1992. Galaxies and the Universe, An Observing Guide from Deep Sky Magazine Editor and Co-Author, Kalmbach, 1992. Stars and Galaxies, Astronomy's Guide to Observing the Cosmos Editor and Co-Author, Kalmbach, 1992. Beyond the Solar System, 100 Best Deep Sky Objects for Amateur Astronomers Kalmbach, 1992 Civil War Journeys Calendar Tide Mark, 1990-2000 Deep Sky Observing with Small Telescopes in Slow, 1989 The Universe from Your Backyard Cambridge University Press, 1988